Recreational fishing in Australia is huge. Our next innovation, the flip reel, is a complete reinvention of the old hand line and a brilliant example of what good design can bring to an otherwise forgotten product. The whole idea behind the flip reel, Brandon, is put everything you need in one hand. And it came really from growing up in a tiny town in South Australia and fishing on the weekends for fun. And I thought, we need to actually redesign this product. It's so old, no one's ever done anything to it. And the flip reel was born. It's all about giving kids and whoever wants to go fishing everything they need in one hand. As you can see, it starts at half of its size, but when you're ready to use it, you can just flip it open you can completely get access to the hook and the tackle. If you want to cut the line, we actually have a built-in line cutter. I mean, we've even gone to the trouble of creating um, tackle boxes which sit inside the product. And everything you could possibly want is right there. There is a picture of the end user. That smile is effectively our brief. If we can then take that essence we can begin to visualise concepts, visualise ideas, and actually visualising the design that we want to bring to market. So the whole point of a prototype is to test it, put it into people's hands, see what they think. And here is a flip reel, which has been mass manufactured, and it reflects all of the discoveries and learnings through the design process, and turns into the product that's going to ultimately be in market. That old saying, build a better mousetrap, and the world will beat a path to your door, pretty much sums up what I love about the flip reel. It's such a good example of design thinking applied to an everyday product that will no doubt bring joy to millions of people around the world. If you're a dressmaker, quilter, or even making soft toys, you are a crafter, and you are not alone. There are over two million of you in Australia and growing. If you are a crafter, you need to keep an eye out for this little innovation. She has the craft community buzzing. This is the quilt I was making for our son's wedding. I'd mucked up the pattern. I had two days of unpicking, which is using one of these to actually unpick all the seams. Everybody hates mm. unpicking. The first one that my husband made was really, really ugly, but it got me out of trouble. <laughs> Then we went on to find form designs with Edward and Sharon and they came up with this beautiful little bird-like concept. So show me how she works. Take your pieces and just rip them apart. Oh, look at that. Because you can see the, the light highlights the stitches and you just unstitch like that. Simple, easy, friendly, nice to do. The hem ripper was an afterthought. It just rips really, really easily. Any hems or seams. So amazingly simple. It's incredible that no one's done this before. So how has Quick Pick changed things for you? Well, I get really frustrated, so I start ripping it. And then I rip <laughs> the fabric. And so I found that when I use this, I don't do that. Let's put this to the test. We have you with the traditional picker, and we have you with the Quick Pick. Three, two, one, rip. <laughs> quick, 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 quick. Right. <laughs> you see that? Oh! Wait, wait. You're cheating, you're cheating. <laughs> Yeah, you can help. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> All jokes aside, what I love about this story is that Elise saw a specific problem within a specific community. She went to a designer and together they came up with a solution and they nailed it. Australia is a huge country and healthcare is very, very challenging in remote locations. What the Vision Flex does is it actually gets a patient to come together with their specialists without them having to meet face to face. What a brilliant solution. This is the Vision Flex Pro EX. With its hard case and battery pack, you can be anywhere, even outside. With a range of attachments, including a stethoscope and a digital camera, this is an all in one telehealth hub, giving you live access to the best specialists anywhere in the world. It's a product which is really designed to connect people in remote communities to base hospitals and specialists. A lot of remote communities have been very isolated and now they can go to their local hospital or the visiting nurse can examine them. And it's uh, designed to connect to accessories such as digital stethoscopes, camera systems, ultrasound probes. All that information is collated under the patient database and then transmitted back to the specialist. The range of applications is huge. You know, we're looking at aged care facilities, prison system, detention centres, and we've even delivered systems to Alaska. 
This is the camera that attaches to the main unit and the brief for this particular camera was to be one-handed use that can be held in the right hand or the left hand, but also to take an image without having to experience a whole lot of hand wobble. One little trick is when you take the photo, it's actually taken when you release the button to avoid the stammer and movement of somebody's hand. This is a CAD model of the camera. Could you explode that for me, please, Lisa? One of the biggest problems we found was the temperature of the actual camera module was very high. Now, that's not a good thing when you're putting it close to somebody's mouth or close to their skin. The way we did that was to use this part, which is a heat sink. It's effectively a lump of metal that will draw the heat away from the camera and lower the temperature that's being used. As the name, Vision and Flex together makes Vision Flex, and it is flexible in something like this hearing van which travels to small communities and takes care of people. For example, with the wireless glasses, this allows the practitioner or healthcare giver to have both hands free and to look directly at the patient and be teleconnected to that specialist at the far end. And that's a wonderful thing to have both hands free and have that connection at the same time. We tend to think of design and innovation in a very urban context. It's truly heartwarming to see innovation giving access to rural areas and really changing lives.